And things are just heating up off the coast of Texas. This is a live look right near Galveston, uh, Texas right now. Tropical storm Bill has sustained winds of 50 miles an hour. Not the wind though, but rain that uh, Bill can put down. That is of deep concern. It should be making landfall shortly, if not already, Paul. Looks like it's already made landfall right now. The center of circulation is still offshore, so it still has a little ways to go before it makes its way. I see the CNN reporter there in the foreground mm -hmm. getting ready to do a live shot, so they're going to be out there tracking it. But again, it's not one of those situations where that reporter is going to get knocked off her feet right. by the wind. It's just the amount of rain this Absolutely. thing is going to drop. So let's start off with a track of Bill. We'll show you where it is right now and show you where it's going to go. That center of circulation, you can see it just offshore there to the southeast of Corpus Christi, Texas. It's expected to make landfall around Matagordo Bay. That's the inlet right here that's always visible on the Gulf Coast. All that heavy rain though is going to surge onshore into southeast Texas, already getting some rain around Houston. That center of circulation has sustained winds around 50 miles an hour, but it's not going to strengthen further. So very little wind damage with this, but plenty of rain even as it weakens to a tropical depression and eventually becomes what we call extra tropical, which doesn't mean additionally tropical. It just means it'll be outside the tropics. It'll get caught up in the overall weather pattern across the country. But as it goes farther inland, it's going to produce that heavy rain initially for southeast Texas, but then that moisture is going to spread up through the rest of eastern Texas. Looks like the center of circulation is going to go right over Dallas and doesn't look like it's going to lose a whole lot of its organization because the ground in this part of the country is so wet. It's almost like an inland ocean. There's plenty of moisture available to feel fuel this thing as it moves farther inland. So it's going to produce some very heavy rain even as it goes up into Oklahoma, adding it up with future cash. We're talking about five to eight inches of widespread rainfall in those orange and red shaded areas in those yellow bullseyes here in Oklahoma and down in southeast Texas. That's where up to a foot of rainfall could occur. And that is just way, way too much. Even if they hadn't had the flooding problems last month, this would be too much rain. But on top of those existing flood problems, this is going to be a significant cause for concern. Eventually, the leftover moisture with Bill is going to swing in our direction, but not yet. Clear skies over the, most of the mid state so far this morning. We're looking at hazy sunshine, which means it is humid out there. Not much of a breeze stirring things around. Very little cloud cover to speak of, but just a few clouds to kind of reflect those first rays of sunlight this morning. It's already warm though. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Dew points are at or above 70 degrees, which means it feels very sticky outside. And we could even see a few thunderstorms developing in that humidity later on today. Nothing on the forewarn live radar right now. The closest storms are way up along the Ohio River. Let's dive down and take a look at temperatures. Those are in the low to mid 70s for the most part, 74 degrees in Nashville, also 74 in Hopkinsville, 75 in Murray, Kentucky. A few very lucky spots in the mid to upper 60s, but you're going to warm up with the rest of us. High temperatures in the low to mid 90s this afternoon. Factor in the humidity, it'll feel like the upper 90s. Here's that shower and thunderstorm chance starting to pop up on the radar simulation at noon, but just a couple of little pinhead showers beginning to show up at that point. Better chance of scattered storms for southern Kentucky, drifting down into northern middle Tennessee by mid to late afternoon. But it's only about a 30% chance even for that part of the mid state. Future cast here tries to keep a few storms going into the evening. Hey, we'll take whatever relief from the heat we can get, but it's not going to do anything about the humidity. Very low storm chances in the forecast for tomorrow, but again, about a 30% chance for the northern half of the mid state this afternoon, and then just a 20% shower and thunderstorm chance in the forecast for Wednesday. But by Thursday and Friday, the remnants of Bill are going to be swinging up through the Ohio River Valley and eventually getting a little closer to us. So we'll be seeing increasing storm chances by the end of the work week in the first half of the weekend. High temperatures today, they'll be hot. 94 for a high temperature. The heat index will max out right around 98 degrees. So it'll be sticky. It'll still be humid out there with a very slight storm chance for the sounds first pitch this evening. I can't rule it out, but I wouldn't worry about it if you're going to be heading downtown for that game time at 705. Temperatures will stay hot again tomorrow and then we'll start to back off a little bit with the high temperatures with better storm chances headed our way again. That's the remnants of Bill headed our way Friday and Saturday. Might get out of here a little earlier on Saturday. We'll hope for that and then we can clear out for Father's Day. Very limited storm chance on Sunday. Well, good. Just made a lot of people happy about Father's Day. I hope so. All right. Thank you, Paul. 618 in the morning.